Hey boys and girls, and welcome back to lesson four of term two for STEM. I hope you've all had a great first couple of weeks participating in activities and learning all about our topic. Now remember, we are looking at this term at our design technologies unit, focusing on our push and pull forces. And we've been looking at those over the last couple of weeks. So I hope you've tuned into those lessons and been practicing using those pushing and pulling forces. In this week, we're gonna have a look at where pushing and pulling forces are used in games. Those games might be the ones we play at home with our family and friends, or they might be more of the professional sporting game kinds of pushing and pulling activities. I'm gonna give you a few moments now to have a little bit of a think for yourself about where you have seen some pushing and pulling in different kinds of games in your life. Have a think about it now. What were you able to come up with? I'm gonna show you a couple now as well, in case you didn't think of these ones. Let's have a look at the examples right now. examples of where pushing and pulling forces are used by people to play games and complete sporting activities all around the world in different ways. And we're going to use this as inspiration today to come up with our own. So for this lesson, you're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil and perhaps some other resources of your own choosing. And today, you're going to come up with a new game of your own using a pushing, pulling force or you could even use both. It's up to you. On your piece of paper, you're going to be using that to write down the rules for your game, and you're gonna be writing down any other objects or materials you might need. Your game might involve using a ball of some sort to push or pull, you might need some rope to pull on, or you might even use some cars and other things like that. It's completely up to you. On that piece of paper, you need to make sure the rules are clear enough and then you're going to ask someone else in your household, so it could be a sibling, it could be mum, dad, or anyone else who lives with you, to play your game with you. And you're gonna ask them as a challenge at the end to see if they knew where they were using their pushing and pulling forces in your game. And perhaps you could tell them a little bit about that if they're not really sure. So that is your challenge. Once you've completed that, you're going to keep that piece of paper somewhere safe or you're going to either email it to me or upload it to the OneNote if you can. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing and to hearing about your games when you're back at school in a couple of weeks. Thank you so much for watching, boys and girls. I can't wait to see all the amazing work you've been doing and I can't wait to hear about it when you're back. Thanks, guys. Bye.